I'm Mandy Sackett with the Surfrider Foundation. Um, we are facing a climate and ecological crisis. The last seven years have been the warmest seven years on record. Melting of ice across the planet is accelerating at a record rate and report after report indicates that we should expect and prepare for the worst case scenario. So we must adapt with bold measures that protect our fragile coastal ecosystem and preserve our precious coast. In California, local coastal programs are our most important tool for adaptation planning and um, that our precious beaches and coastal habitats stand a chance in the coming decades depends on the decisions and plans we put in place today. And it's up to commissioners right now to decide how protective we want these plans to be. So we commend staff in the city of Half Moon Bay for successfully incorporating a number of excellent policies that will help protect the city's unique coasts and avoid hard armoring, which would only exacerbate and drown the coast. And in our letter, Surf Rider, um, summarize the coastal hazard policies included in the update that we support, um, but we do have a few important changes that remain and that we'd like to see incorporated into this update, as well as all local coastal programs moving forward um, across the state. So the first is that the LUP should include strong and unambiguous definitions of existing and redevelopment to prevent individual interests from skirting around policies that protect policy um, public assets. Policies in every chapter of the city's update refer to existing development, yet the LUP does not contain a definition. Previous iterations of the city's LUP update did include the definitions, but were removed apparently due to the self-interest of a few disproportionately influential residents. Existing development should include development before January 1, 1977. The Coastal Act grandfathered in development built before then because those structures were um, developed before current standards and understanding. This is a really common practice with policy development in land use planning and should be reasonably interpreted as such. Second, the LUP should also include a policy that prohibits shoreline armoring of the California Coastal Trail, which runs along most of the city's coastline. Surfrider greatly supports public access to and along the coast, but we must not destroy the very coast we'd wish to visit and walk along. The Coastal Trail was created as part of the 1976 Coastal Act and legislation calls for the trail to be within sight, sound, and scent of the sea. And that gives us plenty of room to move inland um, to ensure connectivity and completion. And then finally, the LUP should include more clear policies on temporary and emergency permitting. Um, the LUP should include the strongest definition of emergency. It should include prohibition on hard armoring, instead requiring temporary, truly temporary devices. And it should enforce an expiration date and removal plan in every emergency permit. So thank you so much for making these changes today. Thank you. Next up, we have Mr. Mark Masara, followed by Kimberly Williams, followed by Lenny Roberts. Um, in the attendee list, 